Hi guys, this is Simon Sage from iMore.com. Today we are taking a look at the recently launched Chrome browser for iOS. We are running on the iPad 2 here. Uh, we're going to test out Safari versus Chrome. Uh, we're all on the same Wi-Fi network here. Um, I've already logged into my account, so it'll probably have some of my stuff cached from uh, the Chrome browser, which I use day to day. Uh, by and large, we aren't going to see a lot of really huge differences here. Um, I've cleared uh, the browsing data on both browsers so we can get a feeling for uh, what it looks like loading up each page here. Let's see how long it takes to open up in Safari. This is our home page here. And just about done. There we go. So we can try that out in Chrome and see how long it takes. Oh, there we go. It's already pulling up some uh, some of our WordPress backend stuff that I obviously spent a lot of time in. Uh, there we go. Go. So uh, the the predictive URLs there. That's that's a nice little addition, uh, especially considering it's pulling in stuff. Oh, there we go. Already done rendering. Uh, especially considering that I use Chrome uh, day to day, this could be very very handy. One other feature in Chrome for iOS that is worth highlighting is the voice-enabled search here. Uh, of course, if you've got Siri, it's kind of a moot point, but a uh, nice little addition here. iMore. There we go, and it pulls up uh, the Google search for whatever you say. So, uh, yeah, no, the uh, the layout here is pretty nice. We've got a few extra settings down here. Uh, we can clear browsing data. Oh yeah, there's also uh, the incognito tabs. Uh, let's see here. I think that is through here. Yeah, new incognito tab. So this basically means that uh, anything that you browse here will not collect cookies or uh, leave a path in the browser history for whatever reason you might want such a thing. I'm, I'm not going to judge you. It's totally cool, dude. Uh, we can also open up uh, just about as many tabs as one could possibly want. Let me just keep going here and you can reposition tabs or if you want to switch between tabs uh, it's got this great little gesture here where you just swipe from the edge of the screen there we go so um, that's a cool little gesture there uh, let's run a few more tests here we've got uh, the HTML5 test is, uh, is a popular one but since uh, both Chrome and Safari are running in basically the same rendering engine. Uh, I don't think we're going to see many huge differences here. Yeah, 324 plus 9 bonus points. Check out Safari. Here we go. So 324 plus 9 bonus points, yeah. So uh, obviously very similar on that front. Uh, one place we might see uh, some, some, uh, some bigger differences are in JavaScript rendering. Uh, the Safari browser uses something called Nitro, which uh, apparently is a slightly less secure uh, JavaScript handling, uh, but uh, infinitely speedier. So uh, we can find that test here. Let's try this one down here. Here we go. We'll see how well it handles this benchmark. So uh, we've got our results here. Total is 1,809.4 milliseconds. So let's see how well we do in uh, the other browser. Let's open up Chrome. On spider test. It goes the second one down here. And they're off. So we finally wrapped up on the Chrome browser's JavaScript test here. 7,307.2 milliseconds. Uh, so that is compared to uh, 1,809 milliseconds. So uh, obviously Safari here has a very steep lead uh, in, as far as JavaScript handling goes. 
We got uh, one more, one last test here to try out in the Acid 3 rendering test. There we go. This is primarily for HTML5 and Safari scores 100 out of 100. I'm going to guess that uh, Chrome will as well. That's a three rendering test. There we go, 100 out of 100. So uh, yeah, benchmarks are all great, but uh, how about we visit a few more sites here just to see uh, what performance is like in real world conditions. So it's also worth mentioning that um, the I, that the Google Chrome syncing applies for a lot of different things. Uh, it includes uh, viewing your opened uh, tabs. Uh, it syncs up bookmarks. Uh, you get better suggestions in the search bar. Uh, you can also send websites from Chrome to the mobile. It also it will automatically sign you into services as well as uh, save and sync passwords uh, in the browser on the on on iOS as you've got on the desktop. So those are very handy. You can try pulling up uh, Android Central in the Safari browser here. I've, I've cleared out all the settings again here. So still pretty snappy in Safari. It's it's a really close race. I mean, uh, we, we saw from the benchmarks there that since this is the same rendering engine uh, loading speeds are going to be pretty similar uh, the only real hang up that the chrome browser is going to have is with javascript uh, and that really the main thing is going to be uh, features you know it's going to be features and design and if for whatever reason you aren't particularly happy with the way safari handles things uh, chrome is certainly a decent alternative and worth giving a shot Anyway, this is Simon Sage from iMore.com, and this has been our comparison of the Chrome browser for iOS versus Safari.